If you have one, it's trash. Well, don't worry. I don't think any of us have one. So I think we're all good. <laughs> like you could just take it. Nah. Alright. Let's she's definitely not on the first floor, so let's head straight up to the fifth. And have a look at the floors as we go. And see if there's anything that looks interesting. Hello bears. No, it's just gonna be this dude with his fucking stuck vinyl player. I need to go and fix again. Yep. Let me just fix that for you, dude. Nope. Nope, I guess I'm just supposed to leave. Do demons have boys? I don't think- I think they're kind of lone wolves. I think they just kind of go on their own, or maybe with imps. But I wouldn't classify you as an imp. Yeah, okay, let's just tell her we're ready to be processed then and see what happens. We've done all the tourism down here. Alright, Marianne, send me home. Also, I need a doctor. Alright, let's go. Process me. She hands the receptionist Lula's card. Can you tell- Ah, perfect. Can you tell us how to get to this address? We're looking for Dr. Truman. Of course. This is in a neighbourhood just outside of Bowling Green. Get on 65 going southwest. Take a right just past the observatory, just before the river. If you continue north, you'll be there shortly. Happy to help. You want to become a demon at this point? That would be pretty badass if you actually, like, became a demon. But, like, a demon in the sense, like... A demon in the sense, like... With big horns. Like, Hellboy-style demon is kind of what I'm thinking. Right, where the hell is... The <laughs> Dr. Truman says. Get on 65 going southwest. Uh, take a right just past the observatory, just before the river. Okay, so, whoop, back to game. So, we're going this, oh, oh, baby. This way. Observatory. 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 Right. My memory being trash as it is, we need to check this again. Take a right just past the observatory. If you continue north, you'll be there shortly. Okay, okay. Take a right and then north. Hey, Dr. Truman's house. <laughs> hmm? The neighborhood at the address on Lula's card has been demolished. In its place is a large museum still partially under construction. Fantastic. Museum, let's go, ah, let's go, why not? Maybe someone will be there to fix my leg. Take a big pair of horns, maybe a cool tail. I would say so, and go for the super strength as well, obviously. You need that. You need that. Always talk to the dog. Who's Thomas? Oh yeah, he was talking to his dog. Guy was a weirdo. Guy was a weirdo, how dare you? What did he say? Just small talk, you know? Like you talk to your buddy or something? Like you talk to a dock worker, just like... Damn, this is a lot of rain. I haven't seen rain like this since that storm a couple of years back that took out Lysette's herb garden. I just feel bad for that old dog. Getting dragged all over by a couple of drunks. Old dog like that should be sleeping on a porch somewhere. But that's loyalty for you. Wow. They didn't stay long anyway. What's this? Okay, yep. Don't know what else I expected to happen, to be honest. <laughs> I 
I heard the man and the lady talking when they first came in, but they didn't see me. What are you doing up that late? Mom lets me stay up all the time. She said it's okay. I was just looking for frogs. What were the man and the lady talking about? The man said his leg was hurting him. They were looking for Dr. Truman, but he was already gone. But they didn't know, so they kept looking around. You're not the strength kind of person. Oh, okay. You'd just rather be smiling creepy, but cool. Okay. Well, maybe like a little bit of fire breath or something then? You need to have some sort of... Or fireballs. There you go. You can have like flaming hands and throw fireballs. That's more of that. That's another option. Go in, Go an int build instead of a, a, a stir build. <laughs> I just assumed they were from the power company. You know how they're always coming by unannounced and messing with this or that? I just shut myself up in my room to wait it out. No sense getting involved. How'd they get in? Must have been one of the kids who left the front door unlocked. Something's gotta be done. They run around like animals. You know that Flora left a can of soda on top of my sheltered door? And I almost killed myself slipping on the sticky mess the next morning? Something's gotta be done. Max Stealth and Max Spooky. Oh, fair enough. Love this part. Such a cool narrative switch. Yeah, it is. It's really weird. We're now looking at like a... Uh, CCTV footage afterwards and people going like, what the fuck were these weirdos doing here? It's very cool. I'm going to walk around with my umbrella up, god damn it. Because why not? Bad luck be damned. I'm also going to prove him wrong when he says they didn't stay long. I'm going to be here for an hour. Okay, I can't walk any further than that. Can't walk any further than that. Whoops. Oh, hang on. Oh, this is still flat. It's just a weird looking... P Hello? Hello? Is this not walkable? This looks like I should be able to walk up there. And that's just the light shining and giving it, making it look like it's a slanted... No? Oh, no. Okay. That's weird. Yeah, this is the front door. I don't understand. Maybe it's because I've got the umbrella up. Nope. This is very strange. There's only very specific spots that I can click here for some reason. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with fireballs? Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. And it, oh, 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 I love that. I love it when it does that perspective change. It's so nice and smooth. And what is this? Hello, child. My name is Conway. Flora. I was playing in that empty cabin and they came by. They asked about Dr. Truman. I know where he went, but I didn't tell them. Well, tell me now through this conversation. Where did Dr. Truman go? Oh, fuck. It's a secret. Ezra told me and I can't tell anyone else. Who is Ezra? He's my age. He doesn't really live here, he just he's just passing through with his brother Julian. First they were going to help us, but I can't say any more about that. We have a lot of secrets. The lady asked me about my parents and I told them that they were upstairs in the greenhouse. Upstairs in the greenhouse. Do you want to hear a weird story? Of course I do. The old man asked me about the cabin. He said it looked like another house he knew and he wanted to know where it came from. I told him nobody lived there, so he went inside. He took a long time exploring. When he came back out, he told me all about it. What did he find in the cabin? He went upstairs, and he also looked around the other rooms. I played with the dog. What, what did he do upstairs? 
He looked in some boxes, he looked out the window. He could see the museum better than, than when he was downstairs. He could tell how it was all put together, and the cabin too. He could see the shape of it better from up there. You're going to hop off to Intrusive Hotel? Okay. Thanks for stopping by, pal. Hope you have a good night. Now, the part that is weird. He said he went into the basement. That cabin doesn't have a basement. He said he found a staircase in a closet. He said he found a secret door in the floor. If Pit comes looking for me, I'd tell him to hit you up on WhatsApp so I get the notification. Okay, will do. No problem at all. He said he dug through the ground to get there. He dug through the ground. No. Secret door in the floor, purely because it rhymes. And then he found a rope leading down a long pit, and he climbed down. Oh, he was surrounded by giant aphids. But the aphids were friendly, and led him to a secret garden. This is, this is someone's doing something they shouldn't be doing. He ran away from the aphids into a river to hide. But the aphids were friendly and led him to a secret garden. The garden was very beautiful. Let's go nice things. He felt so calm he fell asleep. He found a tunnel leading back upstairs. He felt so calm he fell asleep. He woke up on the floor of the cabin. He came back outside and we said goodbye. And I didn't talk to them anymore. Hmm. The plot thickens. Sort of. But in more in the sense of like I've no, I've I've no idea what happened since about ten min oh ten minutes into the the game to be honest. The moment I now recall most clearly from their short visit was the bird cage exhibit. The old man stopped to rest or maybe to think. The young woman had been anxious up to that point, but she stopped as well and examined the bird cage more closely. It seemed to elicit a tenderness from her. She ran one fingernail along the bars of the wire cage marking out a tuneless scale like a child's xylophone. And then they moved on. I am not moving on. No, okay. Apparently I am. Okay. We ought to get some real chickens in that coop. Do some homesteading. None of these folks know how to live off the land. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is a display, another kind of dwelling. Sure, we'll uh, look into it. Look at the doghouse. That dog was nearly as bad a shape as the old man, just sort of shrugging along. They found some treats in the dog hat exhibit. That seemed to cheer them up a bit. Give one to the dog. The dog needs a treat. Oh, damn it. I think you need to get some real horses in the stable. Did the strangers go in the stable? No, they just poked around a bit and talked about barns. They were pretty boring. Okay. Can I go... Nope. Nope. Huh. This barn has the same one that was outside What's-Her-Face's house that disappeared when we fixed the television. A very strange sentence to say. Okay, are we done? No, we're not done. There's more stuff over here. I love the rotation. I've said it like four times now, but still. Oh, hello. Sure, I talked to them for a bit. Actually, we talked for quite a while. I wasn't busy. I was happy for the company. Can't sleep in a storm like that. Never could. What did you talk about? I had a bottle in my coat and I could see the old guy looking at it and his leg was hurt pretty badly. So I offered him some. He got real awkward about it. I bet he's in a program. Anyway. They were asking about Dr. Truman. I remember him. He was here for a bit. And then he left. So that's what I told them. Hey, buddy. No? Okay. 
Just keep the umbrella up, I think. Okay. What is over here? Oh! It's a big hole in the ground. Interesting. Oh, please, yes! Let's take a trip up in this thing. Awesome. Come on, Blue. Hurry it up. I swear to God, though, if they kill the dog off in this game, I'm going to be most unhappy. See? Always have your umbrella ready. Just in case of emergency. This is a really cool scene, actually. I love this. We were working in the greenhouse, and I saw them come up in the elevator. They were lost, obviously. It was obvious. Oh, of course. I saw them looking at the odd-shaped building. The, uh... What the fuck was that? Sure, the rounded metal. What did you see? Yeah, I just saw it again. There was something flew past on the screen. That was weird. Yeah, that one. House of the Future sort of thing. I always thought it looked more like a grain bin. It's a fucking what? It's a dragon. We have a dragon. <laughs> Actually, I guess it's sort of romantic. Anyway, they seemed interested in it. Tired, huddling under their umbrellas. They still stopped to examine this strange building. Fucking dragons flying out the storm. Why are there dragons? Oh, hello. Strange looking man in a boat. Difficult to see or even hear a storm like that. But I was awake and alert, studying the week's forecast. Should even out shortly, I'd say. Did you talk to them? Yeah, we had a shortcut. That is actually a griffin. Never mind. Not a dragon. What is it carrying? I have no idea. Sorry, yeah, we had a short conversation. The young woman heard my radio crackling from the cabin and asked about it. The old man was a bit disoriented. What did she want to know about your radio? She thought she recognized the model just from the noise it was making. Didn't even know the model myself. She told me many old radios from the period had badly designed tuning circuits that caused a kind of resonant feedback in certain spots on the dial. Easy to pick out if you have an ear for it. Smart young woman. And I always love to just chat with an artisan. Well, then they had to leave. Looking for a doctor, I think. The old man was having a bad time. It was a short conversation. Why are there griffins? Eagles. Like big, big fuckers. Annie, Flora was playing down on the lower level and we'd been having a glass of wine in the greenhouse. We ducked out of the way when he came in. After all, they were complete strangers. We didn't know them. That's what strangers are. Did they seem dangerous? No, nothing dangerous about them. But you just can't know, can you? How could you? Another one of these couples. Well, I heard the young woman ask her friend about his job. He's some kind of furniture collector or dealer, I think. It didn't sound like things were going well. Maybe they were here looking for a buyer? Yes, definitely some kind of furniture collector or dealer. I heard him talking about antiques. Huh? Am I... Okay. To come out now. Hey, Ezra. That's a griffin carrying a cage that time. I saw you folks drive up. 
I like your truck. What kind of truck is that? Oh, we're back into this mode now. It doesn't belong to me, I just drive it. We've got a couple of them at the shop, but this is the only one that runs. That one. Oh, yeah. With a truck, you've got to keep it up. That's why me and Julian don't use a truck. We just carry the houses. Sounds very impressive. Who's Julian? Where do you take the houses? Where do you take the houses? Me and Julian take them out to the forest every night. And then we bring them back at dawn, before the museum opens. Why do you take them to the forest? This museum is an okay place to live in the daytime, but it's no good at night. Folks just can't sleep in a place like this. Or when they do, it gives them nightmares. So when we take them out to the forest to sleep and bring them back in the morning. Is your family out in the forest? Oh, no. They're... I don't know where they are. Me and Julian were looking for them for a while, but... Anyway, we have a job to do here now. Taking these people out to the forest at night so they can sleep. And maybe if the rest of them will be like Dr. Truman and want to stay out there, we'll get back to looking. Can you tell us how to get to the forest? You have to follow the Green River way out east and then hop over Lake Cumberland. The roads don't go there. But me and Julian can take them. We were just about to go anywhere. I've just got to call him over. Julian's the big bird. Makes sense now. That's what that says. Trust me, that's what that says. <laughs> what is a griffin if not just a big chicken? Also, how is the griffin not being struck by lightning? Oh, you could have at least let us keep the umbrellas. Oh, I like that animation. Wait, am I controlling this? I am. Okay. Tiny bit of motion sickness coming in here, but we'll, we'll power through. <coughs> Just sit back a little bit. We'll be fine. <laughs> Where is the forest? Hang on. Notes. Forest. Follow the Green River way out east and then hop over Lake Cumberland. Okay. East is currently this way. Green River. Okay, that's the Green River there, so. Small figure. A tiny grey figure walks along the side of the road, carrying what appears to be a guitar case. He is followed closely by a smaller shape. A dog. Oh, it's the guitarist we met earlier. He looks tired. Corn mine. From above, the huge swaying tipple looks like a small wooden lattice framing the edge of the mine entrance. Oh. What was the instructions after way out east? Hop over Lake Cumberland. Uh, keep going that way. There we go. I mean, this is really cool, despite the mild motion sickness. There we go, there's a lake. I'm sort of getting it to do a nice sort of swooping just back and forth like that. <laughs> lake. Oh, this is Green, Green River Lake. This isn't Lake Cumberland. A shadowy figure drags itself out of the lake, stuffs its limbs into a smart blue suit, and trudges slackly out of view. Okay. Was that? No, that's not like that's not gonna be Lake Cumberland. Still going east. Still going east. Ah. My word! I want a griffin so very much. Can you imagine? Oh, we're, we've we've hit a we've hit an impasse. Is this Lake Cumberland? It's more of a river. Nope, it is Lake Cumberland. Okay. That's fine. Oh, here we go. Forest. Forest. Nice. Oh, God. That was cool, but 
I don't think I'm going to cope with that much longer. Our forest. <laughs> Love it. Am I? Oh, I'm in control, aren't I? Yes, I am. Okay. Hey, blue. It's like the rescuers down under. Oh, nice. It's okay, just take it easy. We've got to get back to the road. I'll just close my eyes. We've got to get back on the road. We will. We need to get this leg looked at first. Right now, you're in no condition to haul anything out of that truck. Even when we do find Dogwood Drive. Why is... Why is this delivery so important to you? It's my last delivery. Oh. You retiring or something? Or... Sorry. I'm just not as tough as I used to be. Well, just rest up for a minute. I bet you're still plenty tough. Love this music. It's so good. It fits perfectly with the giant fucking emu. I have a banjo and I really need to learn to play it properly. Here he is! Ye old forest dwelling banjo player. Speak to the dog. How'd you come to be with these people? I bet you were pretty wild when you were younger. Well, I like you anyway. Oh. oh, this'll be the doctor. Hello? Doctor? Man! Oh, there's multiple banjo players! Oh, hello. Okay. Shouldn't be much farther now. I think I see where the settlement ends over there. These are some fine looking trees. <laughs> yeah. Really nice. You're a tree enthusiast. I like birds. Birds like trees. Okay, I, I can follow that logic. You're in a lot of pain right now, aren't you? Just thinking about getting back to work. We're almost there. We'll get you patched up and back in that truck. We can handle it. Talk to the dog! Have you, ever... you ever been over to the lake? It's really deep. Me and Julian fly over it all the time. We can see it all through the water. That tree, that, that, oh, that's a weird shit happening with this tent. That's kind of cool, though. Banjo Man! Do you have any family you're close with? Brother or sister? Kids? Just Lysette's family, I guess. Oh, yeah? Husband? Bunch of kids? She had this great kid named Charlie, but... Oh, sorry. Guess I was always closest with Weaver. Closest someone can be with a girl like that. She was always her own wavelength, but we were the same age growing up, and everyone else was so busy. When she disappeared, I got pretty angry, and I guess I just stayed that way. I never really understood her, but I knew her. It's lonely without someone like that around. Sorry, um, you're a good listener. Oh, oh, talk to the dog. Talk to the dog. I bet you come from a big family of dogs. Yeah, dogs have big families. I like that. You're always surrounded by family. Sounds nice. 
Where's Banjo Man? I want him back. Oh! Speak of the devil. There he is. Stop that! I want to stay! I need to find this song afterwards. He's inside with Dr. Truman. Are you coming in? Sure, I'll come in. Dr. Truman lets me watch TV sometimes. My folks never watch TV, but I like the way it looks. You said you lost track of your family earlier? Yeah, it's easy to get lost, especially out in the woods like this. I never really get lost, though. I just look out for Julian. He's always around. My folks had a really nice house, bigger than any of these houses. But it made them worried all the time. Then the bank took it back. We had to sleep at the bus station, but I couldn't ever get to sleep. So I just went out to fly around every night with Julian. We flew really far, and we never got lost. But when we came back in the morning, we were all gone. They just left you? I don't think so. All our stuff was still there. Maybe they got lost somewhere. Let's go see what's on TV. This is Dr. Trim. Okay. of dog is blue. It looks a bit like a bloodhound. And yeah, I think during that ex interview is when I really realized how badly they had me. But how else can you pay for medical school? I have college friends with debts that you can't expect to pay that back unless you're planning to sell painkillers on the side or something. Or, you know, some kind of administrative thing. I don't know. Having seen what arthritis did to my grandmother and my best friend in high school destroy his wrists building synthesizers... I mean, he was, like, 17. Ailments of the joints and limbs just seem important to me. I hope that answers your question. Getting a scholarship with that pharmaceutical company had a lot of strings attached, but at least I have somewhere to practice. Even if I have to follow their market trends a bit. And hey, thanks to all those seminars, I'm an expert on the medical uses of Neuripnol TM. It's not so bad. So how about that leg? What happened exactly? It was like something grabbed my leg. It was crushed by falling rocks. Don't over-dramatize it. Ah, crushing injury. Yeah, those can be pretty bad. Everything gets all compressed, and there are a lot of little pieces to... You know what? Never mind. Let's take a look. How bad could it be, right? Well, he's been walking on it this long. It cannot be that bad. Like, it's probably pretty bad. What are they singing about? They're singing about travel. Yeah, they're traveling and they want to go home. It's dark and raining and they don't know where to go. But they're not scared. Do you think they'll figure it out? Maybe not, but they'll figure something out. Your friend's in pretty bad shape, isn't he? But it's nothing we can't handle. You might have a few things to look out for in the future. Be a bit gentler with the leg or the way you walk, but you'll be okay. I've dealt with similar cases before. So the anesthetic we'll use is called Neuripnol TM. It's pretty experimental, but it's more appropriate in cases like yours. The way it works is I'll count backwards from five to start the process, and then we'll just have a normal conversation as the Neuripnol TM takes effect. Then I'll get started. Here we go. Five. Four. Three, I love this. Two, one. So, let's talk about billing for a moment. The pharmaceutical company I'm contracted with was recently acquired by an energy company that has some different standards for billing and revenue. So it's a bit complex now.
end of act 